Hey everyone, welcome back to more Spectrobes. Last time we uh, we uh, put the la uh, the final keystone into the uh, ruins, which turned out to be a ship. Who would have thought? Also, we had to face a boss before being able to uh, leave, and then we tried to go to the seventh planet, but uh, we were stopped and we crash landed now on the sixth planet. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened last episode. You might want to check it out. On some other stuff, uh, to be honest, I didn't really do any grinding as more, the, the only thing I really did was just, like, I have a ton of minerals left, so I gave, like, one of the, uh, some of the guys some minerals. First of all, Villa Master can evolve now into his final form, Villa Nox, which, yeah, has massively increased his defense and HP. That being said, to me it's kind of still insane how, like, there's like a 20 level gap in between them. We'll use them soon, but um, for this episode, uh, I've got like a new uh, pair of two with uh, Senkro and Bartolor, who are both level 40, which, well, I'll say stat-wise, they're obviously less than these fully evolved guys, but, I mean, I guess Abasar is also fully evolved, but... But I can say that they're at least level 40 and should be good enough. Like, they should realistically be good enough for this part in the game. Like, I feel like I've done more grinding than most people would do at this point in the regular playthrough, so... Like, I would assume we're high enough leveled. I mean, otherwise, we'll probably just have to rely on our main two guys again. As we're on, like, this ice planet, which... We haven't found any new uh, fossils yet here. The only thing so far we found was a Nagupod, which... I mean, that figures, right? Alright, there's a enemy. Up, oh, time to fight. Alright, they shoot ice at us. That's interesting. Seems like both our guys are at least decently fast. Or we... No, never mind. We just have a lot of support and speed. But these guys seem to mostly be about launching their ice blocks. Let's see how much this does. It's an electric attack, by the way, which is interesting. 35 each, 70. A little disappointing. I haven't used these guys in uh, in any shape or form, so I don't know what their attack is like. He lunges a bit forward and then uh, does some punches that... I mean, it's not horrendous, right? But it seems like... Oh. He's got a roll attack and a... Um, no, uh, and a normal attack, right? An attack and a roll. So, I will say it's quite hard when you've got like nine projectiles being shot at you at the same time while still trying to figure shit out. Alright, 32 and 63, that's not bad damage. Alright, you don't do anything to these guys, Senkro. Unfortunately, it kind of seems like it's faster to just do this. However, uh, I'll try the nor or the roll attack with Sancro next. Okay, well, he hit a couple of people. It's kind of a weird move. Yeah, just do that instead. Oof. Yeah, Senkro does not seem to be at an advantage here. But, uh... Hey, at least, uh, 
Bartolor Bartolor seems to be uh, in a in a pretty good spot for this. I think we just throw in like one final uh, team attack, so to speak, and then we finish off the remaining set please with uh, barter. Oops. just this guy left so it seems like a second attack does a lot more which don't know why but good to know I guess so I guess that fight went decently oh there's a fossil I'm always more excited uh, for the fossils in the new area just just the potential to get something new but this is just an iPod So yeah, it does seem like you have snow here, which is like way thicker. I think this is where like the dynamite might actually be able to like come in handy. Because like before it just destroyed whatever, right? But who really knows? Here's a little mineral. Admittedly, I am not complaining about getting some uh, A-level minerals. Also, here's a grill pod. So yeah, Appa, grill pod, Nagu pod are in this area. I mean, I'm... I'm certain there's something new here, it's just that we haven't, uh, I mean we've only found four fossils, right, so, I haven't even actually like looked at how many uh, spectrums are even left, like there are two more areas, and like, let's just assume for a second that we found everything in all the other maps, which, that's not even certain, right, like, you could just be, like another super rare um, spectrum in like one specific area in the game which we just ended up not spending as much time on perhaps alright here are more stuff and another grill pot. I think I'm probably going to just skip over that. As for these other ones, I think I'll probably just get... Oh, that's a 6%. But it still works for uh, for some reason on the mineral. I thought it was something like... If the mineral was under like 15%, it didn't work. Like, or we don't have this one yet. Interesting the first time I've seen this one which is just a regular purple one it seems it's just like an S A plus ah okay so there's a level above pink which I never knew because fun fact I have never been on this planet when I was a child playing this game I never reached this point in the game anything over here in this corner no I did see something over here Come on, give me a new Spectrobe. Ah ha ha ha, we got the Harupod. It's something new. It's something new, guys. Now let's not fumble it. Harupod, nice. Something new, something new. It's got a custom part as well. Alright, long bridge over there. No god, there's a tornado thing. 
A crawl. I know it's a crawl, but... It's so normal to just say it's a tornado because it's literally a fucking black tornado or a purple tornado. Oh god. It's following us. Jeez, leave us alone. Can't you see I'm not interested? Alright, here's uh, a Frozo Oot. Those guys do, uh, you know, they lug towards you, so they're a little scary. Luckily enough, we can just uh, run away from them. Uh, unfortunately, we only have like the 70 instead of the 90 uh, from our, our special attack. Means that we're doing significantly less damage. Alright. Maybe it's easier to just do this. I think I'm starting to get the hang of maybe how to utilize uh, these guys a bit better. Oh, fuck. Alright, this zip piece uh, hitting our um, synchro is pretty goddamn dangerous because that thing is quite fucking strong. I think we should just run away. The bomber hit on Sancro and he's dead. And like, there's, there's no actually like good way to really determine what like element the bad any of the bad guys really are. Kick his ass. Oops, wrong move. 38. Eh, probably not really worth it to do. Oof. See, sometimes you press the wrong button and then everything can go to shit real quick. All right, well, one of these, and we should get it. Minergy, hooray. Our right, barter is like a level up. Yeah, both Synchro and uh, Bartolore just need to be uh, level 50 and be in the incubator for a certain amount of time to evolve, which I guess makes them uh, pretty simple to evolve. So, like, there's some of them that need, like, a specific stat to be really high. And, geez, you're everywhere, Shopod. <laughs> like, everywhere. I do wonder what element, what is, what's his face is. Harupod, because um, we honestly don't really need to pair up two flash monsters again, but I am thinking of uh, pairing up like two remaining, like our two remaining new Auroras together and our two remaining Coronas together. To uh, at least like, w that being said, we probably don't even need to head into another Corona like dungeon, but who knows, right? Also, no thingamajig, sure. Time to head to the um, this long ass bridge with an enemy. Uh, Sankro doesn't really seem to be able to pull it off. I question whether or not we should either just switch straight up or if we should heal up Sankro and try again with the same monsters. I mean. It seems pretty clear that the Aurora monsters are doing pretty well in this map, so... I think we're gonna go in the Segulara and Zosanero. At least for now. Probably why we had so much difficulty last episode is because we didn't have a Aurora monster at our side. Except that, like... 
Jaguar hasn't really shown to have much prowess in terms of uh, damage dealing. Alright, that guy just kind of fucking runs up here. I mean, at least this looks like a little more. I think this looks 88 at the moment. Because apparently their bond is like maybe one point shy of the maximum or something. Okay, why did he not do it? Good, good, good job, Segulara. You missed everyone. 59. It's a disappointing amount. Like, it's pretty clear that, uh, that Sogolero is just not really a, um, attack-minded Spectro. Could also just be that I didn't level it up a whole lot in attack. We did something to him. I, I didn't see how much. I think it was like 65. But so far this battle is, I guess, going better. Or at least that one's dead. I think we just hit them once. With our like electric shock attack, uh, 35 actually is not that good, anyways. All right, at least you're hitting that dude. Let's try not to get hit. At least this attack is fast. I could, could give it that. Like at least he, at least it like loads up quickly, right? Like that, that's at least decent. I guess we're just using these guys more because they're my strongest guys. Coral. Alright, this looks like a, a big scary platform. That or it's like a teleporting pad. It's the ladder, yeah. Start off the left. Ooh. New cube, new cube. It's number. It's the Omnicron. I don't know why, I feel like we already have the Omnicron, but that might just be incorrect, I'm not sure. There's also another Nagupod, which I'm just gonna skip out on that, to be honest. The Ace ones, I might as well grab, considering they take so little time to get with the scanner thing. I mean, I get no experience from it, but from, oh, I guess the purple ones are too strong. Oof. Sucks, the purple ones are pretty good. I guess I'll not use it on the purple ones. Alright, well, it's clear that there's a dead end there. Let's go to the right. Something in the middle like last time? Yes, there is. I wonder if you can go back and forth here. That would actually... Z. I don't think we have that one, though. I think this is definitely a new one. The Z cube. Another Nagopod, don't need. The purple one, I guess we'll do the purple ones normally. Because it seems like the purple ones get destroyed by our um, 
by using like the ultra tool at least they're, they don't take that long but it's nice to get the purple cubes but now I'm gonna be interested if I teleport here teleport back are they back yes they are see that does kind of conclude this being like a fantastic spot to um, just grind minerals, right? Although you only get two of them as there's always a prism here. So that's a little less good. So like once again it's a Z. I'm going to just check if this works on that. And it does. That's cool. But hey, this, it's a, like a decent way to just like quickly and safely get a bunch of minerals. Oops. Alright. Especially the A plus ones because I have not really found many A plus um, A plus minerals outside of uh, the ones that also like decrease the stat. Also, have some pearls. That's cool. Nothing over here either. Sure, I guess we're gonna go straight instead. Ooh. We're in like this fucking palace thing. This is a cool place. Like some kind of light or ice palace. You know, color me impressed. Oh, there's a door. The door is shut tightly. There's nothing we can do. Nothing over here either? No. There's no minerals here. Alright, seems like we have to do something else first is there really no way to like get off of these platforms oh fuck there's over here stupid idiot all right so it's probably we probably need to get like two switches over here to open the doors is my assumption boy pull Boy pull, yeah boy. A new fossil too. Akuma pot, I swear this thing is everywhere. Some cool little blue diamond things. Another mineral. A grilled pod or grill pot. I can't deny and say that the minerals aren't good here. Although it does seem like there's a dead end over there. Um, I think this is the horror pot again. Nice. We got two of them. That's nice. Oh look, there's an enemy over there. I can't, we can't, we can't even see over here. I don't know, I just I feel like there should be one here. Yeah, there is. There's stuff over there. Alright, let's take this guy out. He must have hit something. I think he hit... Yeah, one of them. He hit one of them. Right, maybe not that time. And they did one damage to him. Oh, no. Oh, no. They did one damage. Yeah, at least Hegelus just has a crap ton of defense.
Oh, bitch. Hey, <laughs> nice. Nice job, Segulus. All right, some more electric shocks attacks. Shoot something, whatever you can hit. That thing, nice job, Sagulus. Shoot that guy. You missed. Not as good as the job there, Sagulus. Oh no. They did one damage to you, my boy. I can take it. I like <laughs> Rollins or Zanero. Alright, good job. That actually went pretty well. Yeah, he's got 231 attack, which is... I mean, it's basically like the same as my non-evolved guy, so he clearly just doesn't have a whole lot of uh, attack. But, I mean, he's got a crap ton of defense. I may want to grind up either, like, barter even more to, like, evolution or, like, spiking. That being said, getting these minerals is nice. Getting a new spectrobe is at least nice. That being said, I like that definitely can't be the only spectrobe in this area. Although obviously we don't know if there's like an area one, area two sort of deal with the, this thing. And there's stuff over here. Okay, just two random minerals next to each other. Sure. I'll take them. I'll take him. It does seem like there is essentially no like B level uh, minerals here, so yeah, this is a good place to get yourself some uh, A level minerals. Oh. Something over here. An Omnicron. A Kuma Pod. A level A power. And down here is a purple defense, or a plus defense, is I guess what it's called. We'll pick this up, sure. Okay, you just stood around the corner to wait for me, you bastard. I see what you were doing. Can't walk over there. Although we can walk over there to get to the new spot. Another Nagopod, jeez, some things in life just don't change. Also, a mineral over here. It's a jade, I think. No, it's an amber. I think the jade is the yellow one. Did we not come from here? Yeah, this is where we came from. I guess my stupid ass just straight up didn't see uh, the possibility of doing this. Which probably leads to the next area, let's be real. There's a lot of just new... This isn't a... I, I like this world. This is a cool world in terms of exploration. I think we'll open up this last fossil, right? The Sakuma pot, that's a shame. 
we'll get these minerals and then I'll probably uh, fly back to the ship and uh, awaken Haurupad and then we'll end the episode. The Giga. Alright everyone, let's... I think we head back. As... To be honest, like... Going back and forth off screen really isn't that big of a deal for me. Also, probably you'll grind a little bit in between these episodes. And it might just be for like Gura, because we definitely need some of that. Yeah, we could do a little Healy Heal. We could do a second one too, I guess. Oh no, never mind, I was just saving. I at least want to see what the hollow pots got for us. Also, some new cubes. Let's give that give it to him first. Another new cube, brilliant. Seems you found a Z cube. The Z cube. This one seems to have some useful information about spectrope types. There are 22 types of spectrops, each has a child, adult, and an evolved form. Each of these forms has three color variations. It also says that each adult and evolved forms have two types of custom parts. We would have we would have thought that they had so much information to reveal. Okay, it didn't we kind of already knew this? Like I think this was all already said. Like what 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 cube are we missing? I think we're missing like two or so or three. Um, I mean, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, is it 15? The new cube, the Omnicron is 15, not 13, I thought it was 13. No, actually, we, we have every single cube, it seems. Where is the Z cube, anyways? Z was 14. I swear, I saw this as 14. 18 and this is 13 but um that should mean we have every cube right or am i wrong i would have uh, expected there to be some kind of like wow we found all cubes type of deal unless there's 25 although like there's not really like a slot that says there would be per se all right so we got two of these i think we'll open up the one with the custom part Let's see what type of sound. You need to make a loud sound. Ooh, it's like a crab. Shellfish sort of thing. Haru Club, we also got. Cool. He is Flash. So, like, at the moment, everyone's paired up, right? So, we don't have a pairing for him just yet, but. Uh, yeah, next episode, we will either probably be using the Villanox and Spike and Duo, or like, Kugan and Mozarito, it depends. It does seem like Aurora is really good in this area, so we should, so I'm probably going to prioritize grinding some of my Aurora spectrums up. But yeah, with that, I want to thank everyone for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!